bit of the end of the Malcolm Arnold Sonatina. Um, what I'd like to talk about in this short video today is blowing. We, we, we kind of blow into our clarinets. And what is the purpose of that? What's that all about? Uh, and I'm not going to go into any particularly detailed physical uh, discussion of that. Um, I get a bit of that, uh, a lot of it's a little above my head, but uh, I get a bit of it and, and I find it very interesting and I think we should all uh, have some understanding of what's going on. There is one particular bit of understanding which I think is very important. Um, it's almost contrary to what we think, but it has a real effect on, on what we do and how we do it. So why do we blow into the instrument? Well, obviously to make it work um, and for, for sound to come out of it. Um, but it doesn't work quite in the way you might think. Um, we blow and does the, does the air go through the instrument, for example? Is that a sort of thought in your mind? Is that what, what's happening? Because that's not actually what is happening. Uh, and let me just show you um, and give you a little experiment, which I think will prove this rather well, and then we'll discuss what's happening. So I've just set up this little experiment. Um, here's a, a, it's not really a table, but it's a, a flat surface. Uh, this is a polystyrene ball. It has virtually no weight at all. Um, and as you can see, it rolls around easily uh, on this particular surface. Um, so it, won't, it doesn't take much to get this ball, this ball moving. So I'm trying here just to get it to be still, um, which I'm having some trouble, but there it is. Okay, so I'm now going to to blow a low E, um, which means that there, there are no holes on the clarinet so that the air will be coming out. The, the air will be going straight through and coming out at the bell. I'm going to blow a loud low E with my bell as close to the, uh, the ball as possible. And of course, I hope in your minds you're expecting something to happen. Let's see if it does. <laughs> So it didn't happen, did it? What we'd expect to happen is the ball would move slightly because I'm blowing all this air down into the instrument. Uh, I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to take the, the, the reed and mouthpiece um, uh, off the, the instrument and I'm going to do the same thing. So, so here you'd, you'd think, well, the actual um, speed and amount of air coming because it's not even going through the instrument is going to be greater. Let's see what happens under these circumstances. Uh, excuse the sound, it's not a very nice sound, just playing read and mouthpiece. Well, again, not very much happened there. You might have seen a little bit of movement, which is literally the, 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 the kind of the ball responding to the, the airwaves. But let's have a think what's actually going on. So, the, nothing happened really, did it? Um, the, the ball did not move. Uh, what's happening when we blow is that we are actually getting the reed to vibrate. We are energising the reed. Uh, the fact is that there is already air in the clarinet. We're not blowing air into the clarinet. We're not even really blowing air through the clarinet. The air is already there. There is air inside us and there is air in the room. So what's happening is that the function of blowing is to energise the, the reed, um, which happens because of the way it's set up with the mouthpiece. That's the engine room. Uh, and that vibration of the reed then vibrates the air, vibrates the air that is already in the instrument, already in us, already in the room. Uh, and those airwaves reach the listener and they hear it as sound. And that's really what's important. And I think in our minds, if we have this idea that, that blowing is not to blow air through the instrument, that's not what it's about really. It's about energising the reed and mouthpiece set up to create this, this sound, this energy, which is sound. Uh, the, the other point I wanted to really make is, is about volume. What's all, what's all that about? Because of course, if we do blow harder, uh, to use that expression, if we do blow more, of course, it gets louder. What's happening there? So as we blow harder, as it were, the amplitude of the, the wave of the reed is getting bigger. That creates more pressure, more energy. Uh, there is more energy in the air. And that, when it reaches our listeners' uh, ears, 
it just is interpreted as louder. That's that's what it's all about. Uh, and I'm not going to go into much more detail in that. Um, it's all quite physical and, it, and very interesting. Um, but I think that's as much as, as we as just practicing players really need to know.